The handshake seen around the world, a sitting U.S. president and the leader of North Korea meeting in person for the first time. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Virginia Cha. President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un declaring their intentions after their historic meeting to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. ABC's Tara Paul Mary has the latest from Singapore. It was a relatively short first meeting, but President Trump believes he's already forming a bond with Kim Jong-un a leader he formally called a maniac and little rocket man, telling our George Stephanopoulos exclusively. I do trust him, yeah. Now, will I come back to you in a year and you'll be interviewing? I'll say, gee, I made a mistake. That's always possible. That five-hour historic summit started with a handshake and ended with an agreement. The U.S. will guarantee the security of North Korea in exchange for Kim's, quote, firm and unwavering commitment to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The North Korean leader coming out from that meeting with a huge PR win and feeling like a new man. And decided to leave the past behind. The world will see a major change. The agreement, light on details, states that the two countries have overcome, quote, decades of tensions and hostilities. We have developed a, a very special bond. After President Trump telling reporters that his team will work out the specifics in the upcoming week, but promising to end an upcoming joint military drill with South Korea and then eventually removing troops from the peninsula. Trump using language favored by the North Koreans and Chinese, calling the drills war games and provocative. We're not going to play the war games. You know, I wanted to stop the war games. I thought they were very provocative. One word that was missing from the agreement, verification. The president saying they'll make sure Kim is dismantling his nuclear arsenal, but admitted. And we didn't put it in the agreement because we didn't have time. President Trump said he believes that Kim Jong-un wants to give up his weapons and said he already dismantled one testing site. He also admitted at the press conference that in six months he could be wrong, saying, quote, who knows? Tara Palmieri, ABC News, Singapore.